What's good? On. Hi guys, it's your girl Destiny, and I'm back with again, guys, with another video. It just took me forever to get this camera in place, and I just messed it up. But it's cool. So after doing this, I have come to the conclusion I have to get new curtains. Cause what is this? So ignore it. You know what I'm saying? Focus on me. Focus on me, baby. Focus on me. Bring your minds in bring your minds in but what's up guys how y'all been what y'all what y'all been on um, bro i have missed y'all like so much i have tried to film this video so many times but life has been lifing so let me get my little updates out the way before y'all start asking my shirt is from reborn kings i absolutely love reborn kings um when i first got a job and i was able to like order online i went like on like a christian shirt like binge i guess is the word you want to use for it and i bought a whole bunch of like christian clothing like god is dope uh reborn kings and there was another one that i can't think of right now but i bought them all at one point i had the whole site <laughs> Are you with your mama and not me? <laughs> but hi guys, how y'all been? Um, also my it's been a long day and no I was not redoing my hair, so I don't want to hear it. Furthermore, um first off, my friends have podcasts, so I'm super excited for my friends, y'all. So Emmanuel and Daniel, they have a podcast. I, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. But from what I've heard, it's it's really good and I'm super proud of them. So y'all check that out. Also, y'all, my girl Princess has a podcast called Princess The Princess Treatment. So if he's not giving you the princess treatment, what is he doing? What is what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So y'all make sure y'all hit her up because hers was actually really good. Y'all know what I'm saying? The boys is actually really good, you know, to Christian podcasts in case y'all haven't heard of them. Let me put y'all on. You know what I'm saying? So I'ma just that's all I had to say. Y'all ignore me. Shrink it. Okay, I don't know what that was, but it's cool. So, before I say anything else to this video, shout out to my guy, Daniel. Can we just give a round of applause for Daniel? Because, okay, because Daniel gave me the idea for the video. And I was like, okay, cool. This is back when I had time. I was like, yeah, you know, like, sure, we'll do it. Like, it sounds dope. I was like, you know, you come up with the questions, run them to me. And I was like, I, I should have the video done in like two weeks. Two weeks has turned into a couple months. So shout out to Daniel for being so patient. Um, also for, um, I guess you want to say like his encouragement behind the scenes. I really, 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 really appreciate you so much. Um, so to my guy, Daniel. Okay, there we go. Um, but yes, so if you haven't figured it out by the title, y'all, we doing a Q&A. <laughs> and I've been talking for about 3 minutes and 35 seconds, so let's get into it. Um, originally I was going to have my mother come in here and like read the questions like behind the scenes, but if y'all could only see what my room looks like, it's it's been a week. Um, so I didn't want her in here. Plus, she was like, I don't like this out of my voice. Yeah, okay anyway so what i did was i just wrote them down terribly and i put them in my hat and it says okay so boom baby because i say that all the time i'll be like okay so boom baby so shout out to ifty for giving me the hat um yeah so literally i i don't think i tell you guys this enough i'm technically an open book if you ask me i'm going to answer your question to the best of my ability so if you guys want me to do more q a's drop me you know email me the questions dm them to me send them to me you guys have been doing really great of giving me video ideas i love y'all moi love y'all so much so much so he gave me these questions i'm not even going to tell y'all how long ago um i thought about them like really really thought about them when he sent me the questions but because so much time has went on and went by it's been a long time since i've looked at them 
and then I just wrote them down like super quickly so I really didn't get a chance to think about them so y'all bear with me right I don't know why but I'm so scared <laughs> I know it's nothing like weird but I'm scared so Ooh, look at me oh you're the one I have no chat okay I'm done let me, let me quit I really miss y'all. I really, I really, really have. And I'm so excited to film this for y'all. So, if, if she wanted to, she would. And I am. So, and the first question. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. The first question is Can I get a drum roll, please? No, y'all don't got to do that. But the first question is If money wasn't a factor, what would you do with your time? With my time? Um. I'm gonna try to give myself the boundary of I can't say I don't know because I always start off with I don't know but then I'll figure it out as I keep talking but for this question recently I don't know because recently like my life has been pretty chaotic and in the past couple weeks I've been telling myself to um, enforce and create effective boundaries so if money wasn't an option i don't know is my job a factor <laughs> because stay at home wife me <laughs> um uh, ooh, i don't know i would i would definitely travel but that's like literally a basic answer because i feel like if everybody had the money we would all be traveling we would never be at work I'm telling y'all, never mind, because I got people who, never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, if money wasn't a factor, what would I do? I really don't know, y'all, like, I know I, okay, I was actually just asked this question, you know, so this is some, okay, never mind. Um, I would invest in my perfume collection because I love cologne like I love smelling it you know what I'm saying like I've discussed this with you guys with princess like cologne will is definitely a weakness and I love talking about cologne you know um just because I'm like oh I haven't smelled that one like what that one smell like and it's a great conversational piece so I have been like starting slowly to build my own perfume collection so I would probably like invest in that yeah that's like literally the dumbest answer but i would i would invest you know and i would also probably start my own perfume line like i think that would, that would low-key be kind of cool you know and make my money back you know what i'm saying so i can be a perfume girly <laughs> y'all see i don't have on a robe because i almost filled this video in a robe because my girl jaleesa yvonne jefferson <laughs> she films videos in robes and i said you know she's inspiring me right now anyway I'm rambling. That's question number one. This video was gonna be long. Okay. Um, no, it's not. I thought it was gonna be 20 minutes. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> question number two. Uh, if there was one thing you could change with no repercussions, what would it be? <sighs> no repercussions, actually, because I kind of just said it. I would effectively create and enforce boundaries. Um, I just realized <laughs> why y'all didn't tell me the things. <laughs> I am with <laughs> I am not with Metro anymore. <laughs> oh, I am with like why y'all didn't tell me the fan was on because I'm really like, what is this noise? I forgot I cut it on while I was setting up. Okay. Can y'all hear me now? Does it sound like I'm screaming? <laughs> I'm weak. Why y'all didn't say that thing? Okay. Um, and if y'all looked at this card, I really wrote these terribly. Um, no repercussions. Yeah, I would create and enforce effective boundaries. Just because I know when it comes to like creating boundaries for people, um, when you're in a space of trying to be intentional and at the same time, also I sound terrible. I just realized that I am stuffed up in my nose. Um you just i don't know like somebody's feelings are gonna get hurt somewhere along the line and 
because a repercussion would be somebody getting mad at me, you know, but people are going to do whatever they want to do. So that would probably be my response. Yeah, that's my response to that. With no repercussions. I'm going to have to think about that again. I'm trying to think of what my original answer was when I first saw it. Can't think. <laughs> Next. Okay. Um, next question. What is giving you hope right now? I low-key kind of hope this was going to be the last question, but it's not. Um, what is giving me hope right now is obviously my hope is building nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame. Is that the same song? No, I don't think about it. Anyway, um, really the Lord, the good Lord, because uh, he still hasn't dropped me yet. <laughs> You're a good, good father. Yeah, because that's who he is. Yeah. Get in the way. Get in the way. Um, that and knowing that whatever I'm going through or whatever I've been going through is only temporary. Um, I know a lot of the time, like I, I know myself, I get caught up in like everything going on and, um, and sometimes I really just get distracted. I'm, I'm gonna get biblical on y'all for a second. Just like Peter walking on the water, I oftentimes find myself getting distracted by the storms, you know, and, but the song that my goddad used to sing was if the storms don't cease, my soul is anchored in the Lord. So I have to like remind myself to focus like on God. And I have to remind myself to focus on his promises because I don't know if y'all know, but I'm just out here on a prayer and a promise. And I've been out here on a prayer and a promise. That's really been like my slogan for like 2023. I'm out here on a prayer and a promise. So if that's my birthday caption, mind your business. <laughs> mind your business. Okay. But yeah. Uh, God and the fact that um, I know it's only temporary. It won't always be like this. Yes. The Lord will perfect all concerning me. Tell somebody, tell them sooner than later. It's gonna turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. Y'all don't play with me. You all don't want to have no church. You all don't want to have no... Y'all quit playing. Don't play with me. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Because <laughs> I'll take you there. I'm already there. Next. <laughs> I'm wet. I am wet. <laughs> okay, let me stop. I'm funny. Um. Next question. Ooh. What things excite you? Side R. <laughs> um, what excites me? Honestly, I know people get tired of hearing this answer, but what excites me is my self growth. Um, if if you don't know, you know this channel is titled my name but the slogan or my hashtag is hashtag becoming destiny because i'm on a journey to growing and becoming the best possible version of myself um and you know i look back on old pictures from like last year around this time because this is really when i started youtube side note y'all we've been doing this for a year a whole year um but looking back on like the little memories that pop up on my like for my stories or whatever it's just like wow like you've come a long way i could sing another song but i'm not going to um so that excites me the fact that my skin is clearer that excites me the fact that my teeth are wider that excites me the fact that my hair is growing more that excites me as well because uh, if you only knew my story <laughs> um also my friends um i love seeing them do what they told me they were gonna do six months ago you know um i love that they're actively walking in whatever god called them to do um and i'm gonna stick beside them 100 percent. you know what i'm saying because i don't play about me and mine and one thing about me is i'm gonna support my people so um they excite me um 
if we want to be basic roller coasters i love roller coasters flowers oh my god flowers and french fries and candles y'all those are the three keys to my heart you give me some flowers if you need me to be specific white roses you know what i'm saying if you're gonna give me a little candle a little something something you know a little something to fill the room you know what i'm saying you can give me a candle i like vanilla coffee scented um there is like i think it's called strawberry pound cake that candle from bath and body works is actually really good you can give me you can even give me the candle from i'm gonna stop hitting this mic you can even give me the candle from Walmart for $3.96 and I will love you. There is, I think it's called a caramel macchiato or caramel fra- I don't feel like getting up to look at it, but my candle's running low. So if you want to, you know, fill it up. French fries, literally the key to my heart. Like, I will love you for the rest of my life. You give me some french fries or make me some, like... <laughs> Those, those excite me those those things definitely get me going you know what i'm saying uh and seeing my people succeed so my growth seeing my people succeed and then my favorite things i'm also throwing all these hints because my birthday ain't that far away so <laughs> you need to know what to get me for my birthday <laughs> watch the video <laughs> okay let me move because i'm talking a lot um if you could put anything on a billboard, what would it be? Um, there's a lot of things I would put on a billboard. Um, I said that and then didn't respond. Um, I would put uh, She Can Do the Impossible on the board for sure. Um, that's definitely been a quote I've been telling myself is she can do the impossible you know she can do the, the unimaginable she can do the unthinkable because maybe i'm gonna do it um she can do the impossible if you can describe it you can uh, or like if you can describe it or if you can um if you can imagine it if you can dream it then you can achieve it if you can dream it then you can achieve it sounds the best um i would definitely put that on a board um, I would also put one of my favorite quotes up there. Um, you're busy doubting yourself while other people are intimidated by your potential. I would definitely put that on a billboard somewhere because I feel like sometimes we need to be reminded of those things. And I, of course I would put growing and becoming on there and <laughs> becoming destiny with my face and my socials. <laughs> Not to be like I'm self-centered or anything, but somebody got to promote me you know what i'm saying so somebody got to let the people know so let the people know um but yeah that's what i would put on a billboard in jesus saves <laughs> i don't know if i would put that on the board um what is your favorite self-care practice sitting in the car and crying <laughs> i can't even lie to y'all my car is like my safe space i know a lot of people be like oh my safe space is the jam i'd be there for four hours max like somebody just told me that today and i was like baby i can't be in the gym for longer than an hour and 15 minutes so i don't see which i i can see how there's peace there but i can also see if you have time to be there but for me personally it's just not gonna work oh baby not that ain't gonna work um so my car is definitely my favorite self-care practice because nothing i tell my car leaves the car i don't know if y'all know this but i definitely talk to myself i have to like sometimes i just have to verbalize things and i'm not the friend to call people when i'm crying um i'll just cry in the car i'll be real transparent with y'all i had a breakdown not too long ago i don't know how i got from point a to point b but my eyes like glossy like sobbing and i felt like if i was to call somebody like they wouldn't have known what i was saying because baby i didn't know what i was saying so um and it's healthy to have breakdowns but my breakdowns are they're different <laughs> so i did have one in my car you know in the safety of my car and i know whatever i said in the car stays between me and the good lord um so I like blasting music in my car. Y'all know Let It Shine. <sighs> Y'all know that that is my album, right? Because I love Let It Shine. Um, yeah. So blasting music, you know, but sometimes I like to ride in silence. Eight times out of ten, I'm going to ride in silence, though, for sure. So my car, um, 
I like going to get a pedicure. I'm going to get one tomorrow, actually. Um, but recently, my I love coming home after a long day, taking me a good shower, and putting on my robe. Y'all, lighting a candle, laying in the bed. If I want to scroll through Netflix, I can't uh, scroll through Netflix. Where do you do that? If I want to scroll through TikTok, I can. If I want to scroll through my socials, I can. If I want to, you know, just cut the phone off and turn over, <laughs> I can. <laughs> so that's, those are two, those are the two that I do because they're the two most practical for me. So, um, if you could have three, <laughs> learn to read, Husband. If you could have dinner with three people, dead or alive, who and why? Um, see, this one actually isn't hard for me. I would uh, absolutely like at number one, I would have dinner with the good Lord because sometimes I need to just have a conversation with him. Like, what do you be thinking? <laughs> what, what is going on? Um, no, I'm playing. I would have a conversation with him because I want to, I'm, I'm the person who likes to know why. Like I'm not, I'm not going to ask the Lord why necessarily, but I want to know his why I want to know, you know, I want to hear it coming from his mouth because I could read it in my Bible, but I just want to sit and have a little talk with Jesus. Okay, I don't even think that's how that song goes. But <clears throat> I definitely want to do that. Um, my second person would definitely be my grandfather who passed away when I was seven. Um, he was the definition of my best friend. Um, sometimes I have my moments where I'm just like, dang, like I really wish, you know, he could see me now. You know, or if I could hear him now and, you know, just to talk to him to see what he would say. Um, when I graduated high school, it's kind of like, it kind of hit me like he'll never see me graduate. He'll never see me have kids. He'll never see me get married. Um, so I would definitely have a conversation with him just about my growth, what's happened to me, you know, and where I'm going to go in life. So that would definitely be the second person I would have dinner with and then coming in third last but not least um i would have dinner with my godfather who also passed away um he passed away when i was 16 so it's coming on four years guys four years which is crazy um he's actually one of the reasons why i pursue music in the way that i do um he was the first person to push for me to be uh in a praise team um i'll never forget you know, he taught me how great thou art, you know, then sings my soul, my savior, come to thee, how great thou art. Yeah, that song. So that is one of my favorite hymns because he taught it to me. Um, and I'll never forget one time they were singing it in church and I was singing the soprano because, you know, anyway, now I'm pretty sure that was a totally different key. Doesn't matter. Um, and he like turned around and was like okay i hear you you didn't hit it but i hear you he's like do it what do it one more time when they do it again i'm i'm sure you'll hit it so um he was definitely one of my inspirations for um for music so and he i used to tell him all the time like let me drive your car um or um i always told him i was going to get my license and I was going to take him to Godfather's Pizza, but I wanted to pay for it. Um, so I wanted to, I wanted him to see me get a job and get a car. And so I could take him to Godfather's Pizza. But he passed, like, right before I got my license and everything. So it's pretty sad. I'll never be able to do it. But, you know, God knows all. So um, those are the three people. Jesus, my Godfather, and my grandfather. My late Godfather, my late father all right we're coming on through guys we're almost done see it's not that bad it's not that bad um what challenge has shaped you the most <clears throat> excuse me so i could actually sit here and talk about this one for the longest um but my answer would probably be my broken relationships because friendships are relationships <laughs> um i have had you know moments where people have tried to come for my integrity um people have tried to tear down my character um in short they try to throw dirt on my name you know people lie on you you know and they definitely have 
um, they make up stories, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, I did that? For real? Like, tell me more. What else did I do? You know, like, wouldn't I know what I did? So, um, but it was in those relationships that, like, it was like the Lord was literally my greatest friend. So, y'all hear me, like, if you hear me sing, one of my, like, go-to ad-libs is, like, he's the greatest friend of them all. Because I say it all the time. Um, because he is my greatest friend. Um... I get to, you know, have a little pillow talk with Jesus, like, at the end of the night, like, Lord, did you see, like, you peeped that too, you know, I get to talk to him when I'm in the car, you know, and I'll be like, Lord, <laughs> you're so good, <laughs> um, so there's that, um, what is the question again, oh, yeah, so definitely the broken relationships, because it was in, like, one of the greatest trying seasons of my life, um it was in one of those moments where the lord showed me an elevator and i was on the elevator and it was all of the like the broken relationships that i've lost i'm gonna stop hitting this mic um and it was everybody on that elevator and the elevator only went up to floor 30. so we're riding and everybody has their like said floors to get off but um me personally i was the only one going to floor 30. so it was like we got to let's say we got to floor seven and excuse me let's say blue was supposed to get off on floor seven they didn't because we were all like oh but we're having so much fun like you should stay so it was like once we got to floor 27 everybody got off but me um and it was like i had to go to floor 27 28 29 30 by myself um and then the lord was just that was he told me he was like blue was supposed to go off on floor seven but because you were having so much fun and you were so attached when i told you to let them go you let them stay so since you let everybody stay everybody had to get off at the same time you were always going to have this season of being alone but you were going to have it like you know kind of spread out to where it wouldn't hurt as much but because you held on to everything when i said let it go everybody had to leave at the same time and he was like but the purpose of me telling you this is because i want to got once i got to floor 30 because like i said i was on there by myself all the levels up to 100 just appeared in the dream and it was like the the lord told me he was like everybody can't go to this next level with you so it was like if they didn't get off i probably would not be sitting here in front of you guys i'd probably i ain't gonna hold y'all <laughs> if it wasn't for the lord I don't know. There's no telling where I would be. <laughs> there's just there's just no telling where I would be. I'd probably be mean, you know. I'd probably be locked up somewhere. There's no telling. There's no telling. So, yeah. Um, that would definitely be the experience that shaped me the most. Because it's made me a better friend. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that I was right in all of those situations. Because I definitely was not. Um, but to all of those people that I'm no longer friends with they know that if something was to happen that my phone is always on you know even at work one of my slogans is i'm always available for you so um because i'm the friend you call at like 2 or 3 a.m you know what i'm saying you need me i'm there even if we're not best friends you know we sh we're still grown let's touch on that since we all claim that we're grown you know what i'm saying we can be cordial and still coexist in the world because yes there was a point in time before i knew you you know and i was existing just fine so losing your relationship you know it might hurt me but it's not going to stop me from existing that goes boyfriend girlfriend friend all the above you know what i'm saying so um i don't know it's just like it's been my greatest trial is people so i ain't gonna lie to y'all all right so this is my last question and so y'all know i'm not lying good job daniel these are really good um where do you see yourself in 10 years <laughs> why would this be the last question um if i'm being a thousand percent honest with you guys i don't know so i have an end goal of where i want to be with youtube because the lord promised it to me um i have an end goal of where i want to be in life i really just want to be a good wife i want to be a good friend i want to be a good sister i want to be um, a good mom um 
and I want to be all that the Lord has called me to be. You know, uh, I still want to grow and become the best possible version of myself. And in 10 years, I still see myself growing and becoming the best possible version of myself. In six months, I still see myself doing the same thing. Um, but I said all that to say, I feel like there's an end goal, which is heaven. <laughs> um, but there's so many routes to get there. I don't want to have like a distinct plan because when I left high school, I said that I was doing this, I was doing this. And by this time I was doing this and I was doing this and the Lord came and wrecked my plan and I'm tired of him wrecking my stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have set plans anymore. I just have an idea of where I want to be. Now, how I get there is totally up to the Lord, you know, because I don't have time for him, you know, taking me through, but at the same time trying to mend me because, um, he didn't wreck my plan. And I'm like, now I got to trust you. You know what I'm saying? But some trust in horses. You all don't want to have no trust. Yes. Come on through God. But yeah, um, I don't. I see myself, to be honest, I really do see myself married. Um, I see myself as a wife, as a mother, um, a good wife, a good mother, a good friend, still growing and becoming myself. Because in 10 years, well, technically right now, I'm not going to tell y'all my age. <laughs> it don't even matter. <laughs> but in 10, I mean, I'll tell y'all my age one day. It just doesn't matter right now. Anyway, in 10 years, I just see myself married, to be honest. Married, growing as a woman of God. <laughs> Bless you, woman of God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. But, yeah, I don't I don't really have, like, a... I want to be a millionaire because I could be a, a trillionaire, you know. And I don't want to limit myself, nor do I want to limit the Lord's plans. So... That's my response for that. And I wrote these horribly on this, on this card. But, <clears throat> yeah, guys. I know I gotta get a thumbnail some way, somehow. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do for this thumbnail. Y'all pray for me, baby. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You know what I'm saying? Again, shout out to my guy, Daniel. Yeah, we can clap. Yeah, 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 because you did that. You did that. Those were actually really good. Um, I don't know if I should have studied them more, but you did really good. You did really good. Those were really good. Um, so again, shout out to Daniel. We love you. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> thank you guys for listening to my to my little rant and to my little stories, my little stories. So if y'all want more of these, you know what I'm saying. Let me know. Um. <laughs> Because if y'all want a QA, and a y'all got to come up with the questions. That's all I have to say. Because I feel like the questions I come up with, they'll be boring. Like, what's your favorite color? Uh, it's turquoise, by the way. Again, my birthday is coming up. Take note. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> Jot it down for me. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> just like black people to just end it and keep going. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if I hope y'all are staying safe. <laughs> what kind of conclusion um i hope you guys are doing good i hope you guys are you know living the dream i hope you guys are you know going with the good lords you know i love y'all praying for y'all and thank you so much for watching so if you want to do me a favor and like comment and share and subscribe that would be great <laughs> it might not help you but maybe it'll do me wonders it takes about two seconds to click the button literally click did y'all do it? And let me say this. Some of y'all be shocking up with me. Like, I don't appreciate it. Y'all be watching the video, but don't like it. Like, I'd be confused. And then every time I see somebody, they're like, oh, yeah, I watched your video. If everybody watched the video, but I got four likes, somebody lying. <laughs> Some <laughs> Somebody lying. I've been holding that in for a whole year. But, yes, somebody. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Lord, they need to repent. Y'all don't wanna have no church. But yes. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay. We love you. We'll see you soon. Are y'all ready to do my outro with me? Ready? One, two, one, two, three. <laughs>
Touch me, baby.